Hello all, my name is Krishnayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this particular video, we are going to see about Flask. Now Flask is a very important web framework in Python. You can actually use for developing web application. You can also use it for creating web APIs. You can also use it for creating machine learning applications, you know, where you are developing a lot of end-to-end -end projects. So today in this particular video, this will be again a series of videos in this playlist where I'll be discussing about Flask. Many people had actually requested this. Yes, Flask and Django, I will do it parallelly and try to upload as many as videos so that you'll be able to start learning it. Now coming to this particular Flask guys, uh, what we are going to learn over here is that, uh, you know, we'll try to understand a lot of things, how you can actually write uh, different different functionalities with respect to creating web frameworks with respect to creating web apis and all the things in this video we'll just go through the introduction part and uh, we'll try to understand what exactly flask is and how this framework actually works okay so what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to stop my video so that you'll be able to focus on this particular session so let's proceed now over here if i talk about flask uh, this is a web framework okay so i can also say this is a web application framework okay web application framework which is written in python so the people who are familiar with python you will love this particular web frameworks because you will be able to create a lot of end to end project okay end to end project so if anybody asks what is flask it can be an interview question and all you should basically say it is a web application framework written in python okay now you also need to understand because whenever you learn any kind of framework you need to know who has actually developed it right so the person who has actually developed it his name is armin i hope i'm pronouncing it right ronakar i hope i'm pronouncing it right guys if i'm pronouncing it wrong please excuse me for that or please you know apologies for that okay so the person who has developed is armin okay and uh, he he leads a international group of python ent enthusiasts named poco okay so there is a group of some python developers some uh, some type of international group this particular name is poco okay and if i talk about flask framework guys uh, this is based on WSGI concept which we will discuss today in this particular video since this is just an introduction session and it also uh, it also is based on something called as Jinja 2 Jinja 2 template engine okay so we'll understand what is this kind of uh, what what is this WSGI and what is this Jinja 2 template engine okay so we will discuss it in short like we'll try to discuss it in detail what exactly it is now first of all let's understand what is this wsgi now if i really want to uh, tell you the full form of wsgi it is nothing but web server gateway interface okay so this is basically web server gateway interface i'll tell you why this is very very much important you know it's it's an amazing protocol you can also say this as standard or protocol okay i'll tell you why so protocol okay so let's proceed now i hope whenever probably whenever you host any kind of web application where do you host it in a kind of web server okay suppose this is your web server now web server can be anything i hope you have heard of apache web server you have heard of iis web server you have heard of different different kinds of web server now in this particular web server you host your web application this is your web application okay so this is your web application just imagine that you have hosted and uh, you have hosted this particular web application which is developed by using flask framework okay flask framework now from here many people will basically be requesting this particular web server in order to access this web application just imagine that this is amazon.in website okay amazon.in website so suppose this is your request one this is your request two this is your request three and this request are actually called as http request right this are http request which usually happens in www World Wide web which we basically use it from our system so these are your clients from a specific terminal or 
a laptop or a desktop they are basically requesting this particular web application so the first request will actually go to the web server now from this particular web server there will be requiring a standard or a protocol which will be able to communicate to this particular web application okay and this communication for this kind of communication we use something called as WSGI right web server gateway interface for this kind of communication so over from here you know they will use this particular standard and they will try to communicate to this particular web application here you may have any kind of callable functions you may have any kind of APIs you may be having any kind of functionalities right all those things will basically get called and here you'll be getting the response amazing I guess uh, this is what WSGI is basically used it is an amazing protocol or standard I can say which is basically used to communicate between web server and the web application and remember this web application is hosted in this web server but for this web server to interact with the web application there is WSGI okay this is the basic in, uh, introduction about WSGI now the second thing that I really want to make you understand is something called as Jinja 2 okay now this Jinja 2 what it is okay I have also spoke on, uh, spoke about spoken about this because I told you that um, you know the entire uh, flask is also based on this Jinja 2 template engine now Jinja 2 template engine is a popular template engine for Python okay and this this templating this web template system I, I'll also call this as a web templating system web templating system this actually works with how it basically combines a web template this basically combines a web template along with along with a certain data source just see this guys along with a certain data source and what this data source will actually do this data source will actually dynamically put you know or you can also say it will dynamically like it will try to integrate this web template with a data source okay and the final aim that uh, we probably know will be to render dynamic pages render dynamic pages what does this dynamic pages mean suppose okay so over here let's let's consider one example I'm drawing a, I, I'm basically creating a machine learning application so my machine learning application is to classify whether uh, the image is a cat or a dog okay and then as soon as the person actually uploads over here and submits it what happens this actually goes and interacts with the pickle file or the h5 file of the model right and then it gives us a response it gives us a response so this particular response is coming from a specific data source in this particular case the data source is your ml model right now when it comes back okay here the information is getting displayed right the here the information is getting displayed this is in turn rendering some dynamic pages so this is actually a dynamic pages which is basically having the output once you have submitted something and this becomes a very very amazing system because here you are trying to uh, combine or integrate a web template along with some kind of data source right now the data source over here is ml model tomorrow you may also have a sql database you may also have a mongodb database right we will be discussing all these things as we go ahead and remember guys all this kind of practical will be covered in order to make you understand because i this was a request from many people to complete flask and django as early as possible so i will do that so please uh, make sure that you watch this videos every day two to three videos will be coming on all these things because i really want to complete it because i also have to do some end-to-end -end applications and for that i'm also learning some kind of web development by using this okay so this is just an introduction session and over here we have actually learned about wsgi and jinja 2 uh, templating techniques or template engine I can say okay and uh, one one funny thing is that since uh, they are heading this particular group right POCO group so this is both the projects are called as POCO projects this both the projects are POCO projects okay so in this video what all things we discussed we discussed about WSGI we discussed about uh, Jin, uh, 
Jinja to uh, template engine. So we have discussed about this too. In the upcoming video, what we are going to do is that I'm going to take a VS code and probably show you a basic template that how we can quickly create a Flask app, right? So I hope you like this particular video. Uh, please do uh, make sure that you subscribe the channel because many videos are going to come up. And I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you and all. Bye-bye.